Hey guys, lap number three. I was, uh, I got a little uh, concerned there uh, at the end of the second lap that the sky was going to open up in torrential downpour again, so crazy. I ran into one of my neighbors and just, you know, just checking in on stuff like that, and they can't even believe this weather either. And I said, <laughs> We ever gonna have spring? <laughs> Guess not. But hopefully I can get this lap done and one more before the sky opens up and go from there. So anyway, back to what I was talking about. Scoping out my the tiny house uh, fireplace exhaust and fresh air for the heat source, which is the propane fireplace. Um, when I scope it out, I also have to figure out, well, how am I going to get something in there with the scope to hook or drag out whatever's crawled in there or whatever's in there, right? So I got to figure out a way to, you know, remove the item as well, whether it be a wasp nest, dead bird, whatever the heck is in there. Um, we'll have to see how that goes, but, um, yeah, we'll see. I know my MP3 battery is almost dead, so I gotta kinda keep track of what podcast I'm on, or you gotta start over from scratch, so they come in, they're numbered, but I just gotta take a look at the screen anyway, just to see where I'm at. But anyway, yeah, nothing going on. Um, like I say, I do have work coming up, but it's all associated with good weather. So, obviously, probably not going to happen. Anything's not going to happen this month. So, everything will be pushed to the next month. Hopefully, I can start putting some money back in the bank account and uh, go from there. Um, but, yeah, so i got another road to cross here. I'll be back. Hey guys, still on lap number three. Um, wanted to talk about um, a little bit of politics and alternative media covering the Syria deal with the gassing and um, the bombing and what have you. <clears throat> but I found that even the alternative media got it wrong on this situation. Um, what happened was, here I gotta pull this out. Um, I found that they all got it wrong. They were hyping up a World War III situation, but in reality, not even close, guys. Um, and I don't know why. I'm pretty sure they they did it for the the headlines to scare people and stuff like that. But it's pretty sick. You know, <laughs> with modern technology, guys, and the modern military, there's no way that's going to go on. Um, they did precision strikes on three buildings, and it was a joint effort. They had their investigators go in beforehand to see if this was a legitimate claim because earlier earlier gassing attempts uh, when Obama was in and and uh, they had one last year when Trump got in too um, and he bombed the uh, airfield or whatever over there in Syria but uh, yeah the it's just it's it's pretty it's pretty stupid we got um, even the alternative media that I watch and follow they got it wrong they were hyping up a possible World War three situation I didn't think so at all it was 
And some of my prepping buddies were like, oh, you better get ready. And I'm like, really? You think, you think guys are that stupid? <laughs> They're not going to start World War III over a gas attack, guys. Definitely not. And there won't be a world war. It'll be, um, it'll be who, it'll be, uh, probably a regime change or whatever. But obviously there was, uh, Russia, Russia and Syria and the allies there got in a big, you know, pissing match. So they, all they did was do, do sanctions on each other and, uh, big whoop de doo that's no World War III to me. Um, they, <laughs> they normally do that stuff even if there's no war or anything going on. Do sanctions and stuff. So, pretty sad that even the alternative media got, got everything wrong on that front. And even I gotta admit that. And it's just like, really? This was just done for headlines or hype or whatever. For the clicks and the view count or whatever, but pretty lame so that's enough about politics but I wasn't worried whatsoever and even if it even if it was World War 3 what are you gonna do guys unless you're rich and have an underground bunker with all your preps in it guess what you're done especially when the nukes or bioweapons go off but like I say probably not gonna be the case that's the way it is. So, pretty, pretty disappointed in, in the media overall. Totally out of proportion and craziness. And just, you know, what are you going to do? You just keep trucking. Because uh, hopefully they get things better next time. But, uh... We don't need the alternative media turning into uh, CNN fake news, so. <laughs> and they, they were kind of, they were kind of almost on that railing uh, over this situation. Hopefully they kind of settle down and, like, I'm not even a journalist or anything, but I kind of follow stuff in the background and I don't know. I don't see how they could got it, get it that wrong. Um, it really wasn't a big deal. Um, obviously, they took out their chemical plants, research facilities, whatever. And then, you know, Trump says, well, any more nonsense out of you guys, and then things will be a lot different. It won't be precision strikes. It'll be uh, probably a carpet bombing. <laughs> or something but uh it's pretty sick though but there's a lot of you know there's kind of there's some weird things with uh with syria because they don't have a they're not involved with the central banks so and they don't use uh american dollars so they're kind of isolated so they're against the new world order they run their own little thing, their own show over there, and it's a nightmare. And then we also have, you know, New World Order people interfering over there because they want to regime change, they want to take over and put the central bank in. Because I think there's only a handful of countries that do not have central banks, and that is North Korea. Oh no. Is it north or south? Yeah, North Korea. Yeah, North Korea does not, obviously. And uh, Syria does not. And I think there's one more. But those are the only places on Earth that do not have a central bank. And, uh, yeah. The New World Order wants a central bank in every part of the country, every part of the world, actually. That way they have full control over all governments, all money systems, et cetera, et cetera. That's their goal. So when you see stuff like that go on, just know that, you know, the New World Order's mouth is watering. 
they want control over the globe. So there's only a few left that don't have central banks and those are your red flags to where they want to go next, take over next. But they got to do it in a way that it's not up uh, out, out in the open guys so obviously they're going to stage different and they're going to stage something to get in there and then once they have a you know a puppet president in there to do the bidding then that'll happen but till then you know it's not gonna they're not gonna go there so it's kind of we're at a we're living beyond Twilight Zone anymore. It's insane. I can't believe the stuff going on. And I'm just here trying to make a living and get my dad healthy and cured of cancer. And uh, it is crazy. I want to know what happened to all the mental institutions. Do we even have any anymore? Because there is. <laughs> insanity is running wild around around the world and uh, something's got to be done about that. <laughs>